Hey everyone, Sam once again. I'm just going to show you a quick look at the input within the screen. Um, basically for the key for the two, two keyboards you get a standard. I can get my words out. Um, you get swipe and you also get the Samsung keyboard as well. I'm also going to show you a quick preview of the memo pad, um, which is the notes application. Um, you get two of them. So, um, oh no, what's he done? <laughs> That's just for um, all those... You know, they keep saying, oh, he hates Apple. Um, trust me, I really don't. As somebody else has pointed out, I'm um, working on an iMac. Um, I've got my iPad 2 there. So I think Apple makes some awesome products, but in terms of a mobile phone, this suits my needs better. So let's um, stop the, the fanboys wars right there. So as I say, what I'm going to show you is the memo application. Now, this one I've got here is the standard Samsung keyboard it looks very like the gingerboard uh, gingerbread keyboard um, I don't know if it is it doesn't it looks a bit similar but also I believe it's actually Samsung's own uh, one now most people will show you how to type two thumbs I don't normally type with two thumbs um, it's just something I always just use one hand so I'm gonna do it one handed because I'll show you what I'm like with two with two thumbs <laughs> so hey guys and girls are you as you can see I suck with two thumbs basically I've got pretty fat, fat thumbs um, I just find it easier to use one hand so hey guys and to the turf if I want to do it right how are you now as you can see in this one not the best keyboard in the world. Um, I don't use this one myself. Um, I prefer using the swipe keyboard. Even if I'm not swiping, I still prefer it than this keyboard specifically. So we'll get rid of that one. And um, we'll just show you the swipe one as well. This is the one I'd recommend to anybody looking to possibly use it. There's a the swipe keyboard. So we'll do a bit of swiping first of all. So we'll do, hey guys. Are you? Subscribe? <laughs> so now as you can see, the, no errors on that one. Um, some people may say, oh it was a bit slower. I personally find it a bit quicker for most, for most times. But as I say, even if I'm not using the swipe function, which sometimes I'm just like, oh. So I even just use this on my normal keyboard as well, which I'll see if I can work for you now. So hey guys and gals how are you so again not not the most precise but it worked it did better than the Samsung keyboard anyway so that's just a look at these two here and as I said this is the memo application um, you don't actually get any real features with the memo application it's pretty much type it and then you can do those things and that's delete I think you can change the colour of the actual background. You can basically put a pin on it. You can choose which pin you want, and you can also send it to print if you've got a Samsung printer. So, and I've currently don't have a Samsung printer. And then you can have save and cancel. That's pretty much all this the actual memo pad does. Now, what you also get is a widget, which is very similar, but it's just even more basic. It's just write it down. So, let's say put. I say we want to go get, if I can do it, some food. Click save, and basically it goes into your home screen. Now I didn't do the best there for you. Go get done food. <laughs> but as I say, it stays there at the top. So that's just a look at the actual keyboard inputs you get. Um, what I've also done is a couple of other, in my previous video, I've done a quadrant standard, a Linpack, and also went through in terms of what you can change on the screen. So that should have been my previous video before this, and now I'm going to do the launch video. I did say I'm going to do it in the other one, but I wanted to get this one out of the way as well. So again, appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, keep you know keep watching. Um, leave as many comments as you want below. Again, hit me up on Twitter at, at SamJPullum. Um, don't forget to subscribe. 
Cheers.